Hi there. Um, I'm going to be shooting four videos today. Um, so you'll be seeing the same t-shirt throughout the week. Uh, so don't think I wear the same t-shirt all week. Right? It's just all shot on one day. Um, kind of busy at work. So now I, <coughs> now my uh, I have a free morning so I can shoot four videos. Uh, two vinyl updates. Um, sort of a collection video and I'm gonna do a book and movie um, video again so stay tuned anyway first off uh, the new vinyl uh, new vinyl vines that I did um, I got these in the mail I pre-ordered I pre-ordered them all yeah and uh, I, I don't buy a lot of new records so I just wanted to do a separate video for that and then I'll later on be showing um, my recent Goodwill finds, but this is all new, new stuff. Starting off with the wooden constructions. This is an album called People Now People. Um, they're a Dutch indie band that sort of flirts with post-punk, um, both in their sound and in their attitude. Uh, the lead singer tries very hard to be like Ian Curtis, the same sort of spastic moves, which I think is funny, but you shouldn't do it too often because it'll, you know, it'll sort of move away from what the music is like, and the music is really good. This is the uh, inner sleeve with the information on it. It's on subroutine records, which I freaking love. Um, it's not a, a killer album, it's just a really good album. So, The Wooden Constructions, People Not People, sort of the, the newer post-punk sound is in there, not the old school. Um, so if you're into that, if you're into Interpol and, and Block Party, it has elements of that, but it's, it's a thing all of their own. Um, I also ordered, pre-ordered Portis. A Million Now Living Will Never Die. Um, I never owned this, and uh, it's, it's. I think it's cheaper to buy a reissue for me. Um, I, uh, I did so when I heard that Thrill Jockey were doing this, and they are going to re-release all of the uh, other albums by Tortoise. So every album I don't have yet, I'll be pre-ordering, because I freaking love Tortoise. Um, just probably my favorite post-rock album, uh, not album, band. Uh, it has to be because I, I kind of am getting bored of the whole uh, building up to a climax kind of post-rock. Um, it's the reason why I haven't bought the new Seagull Ross, even though that is probably not building up to climaxes. But with that, it's Yancey's voice. I, I getting bored of that but yeah this is pretty different it's instrumental it's uh, got jazz influences and I think Mr. Farboy told uh, mentioned that um, it has crowd rock elements as well and yeah I can hear it <laughs> it's just a great great album and I can't wait for all the other albums to be re-released the next one is a box a box with dots and uh, no info on whatever site you look at. Uh, this is a, a release on Warp Records, and it's the new Square Pusher. Um, it's the only re way this got released, this box. Uh, the dots, by the way, uh, some of them are normal dots, and some of them are glow-in-the-dark dots. So if it does eventually if it's night and the lights are out you will see the the logo of uh, square pusher which is a pointed arrow thing anyway it's a it's a beautiful beautiful set um, <coughs> excuse me comes with a download <laughs> gee comes with a download <coughs> card <coughs> oh my god and a very glossy book with a lot of pictures of Square Pusher behind lights and dots and 
all that good stuff. I mean, there's no information except on the first page, which has the um, titles of the album and some uh, information on the imagery. So that's the glossy booklet. Then it's a two album set. So you get two records. There's no information on there either, except on the vinyl. But this says side one, side two, side three, and side four. The album, by the way, is uh, it is pronounceable, I guess, but I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called Ufabulum. Uf 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 I don't know. It's a pretty, uh, pretty weird name. And it comes also with a bonus EP three tracks, um, which I guess one is live, yeah, anyway, um, if you know Square Pusher, you know what to expect, and um, I, I never owned any of his stuff, I knew his music, that's the reason why, why I bought it, um, and I heard some of the stuff from this album, it's um, sort of going back to mid, mid 90s, uh, electronic music on the Warp label, um, Aphex Twin, Otakra, uh, Boards of Canada played. Think of that sort of glitchy, bleepy um, uh, electronic music. It's not dance music, but so you, he's sort of returning to that sound. And uh, so if you're into that, this is a really good album. Um, I prefer the second record over the first one. The second one is more constant, um, has better tunes. The first one has a couple of really kick-ass tunes, but you know, it's sort of mo it has moments where I'm like, mm, okay, this is good, but but it's a good, good album, and it's the only way you can get it. Um, and that's the reason why I picked it up, because I know this kind of release this will not stay in print forever. So, um, and I don't want to, in a couple of years' time, think, "Oh my God, I want that that Square Pusher album," and then have to pay like, I don't know, a hundred bucks for it. I'm not doing that. So the next two I have not listened to. Um, I heard some of the stuff on it. This is Liars, and again, a, a, an album I don't know how to pronounce. Is it W I X I W or is it Wixil? I don't know. Um, this is the new album, and uh, it comes with the CD version included, which I have over there on the speakers. Some mute records, and uh, yeah, I, I heard some of the older stuff, and that's a lot more um, noisier, a lot more uh, experimental, I guess. This is more normal. Um, it's electronic based music. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it really, but it's good stuff, um, but I, I need to really listen to it. Um, so that's the new Liars. And I also received the new Guided by Voices, Class Clown Spots spots a UFO. This is their second album this year. They will do one more album, I believe, that will be released in November. And that's, I think, a first for me. Uh, buying three albums from one band in one year that all got released in that year. It's got a lot of tracks and I quickly, you know, sample it and it's better so far than their first 2012 album comes with a download card and has this created by Robert Pollard inner sleeve. Just uh, I love Guided by Voices. You know, uh, they are a band that never ever make a full, fully bad album. There's stuff that you go like, okay, this could have been left off the album, but overall, you know, just a really really good band, and I hope they make it over to here to Europe. For a, for a tour, because I, I really want to see them live. So that's all the newer records that I picked up. 
Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.